Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dominican University of California. Have you been here before? Yes. Yeah, who has not been here before? Well, I'm so happy you're here. This is called Guzman Lecture Hall. It used to be a library. And now, of course, we have a fabulous bigger, bigger library with all kinds of lovely windows. And we are so happy to have you here because we offer courses in this, in this room as well as events like this. We also have a huge concert hall that seats 800 people. Have any of you been to those programs? Yeah. Well, I hope you'll come because we have five remarkable programs coming up this spring. With, we do that with Book Passage. So let's give a big applause for Book Passage because they're terrific to Dominican University. And my, I'm a professor of business and organizational studies, and I direct the Institute for Leadership Studies. And my dear friend and colleague, Dr. Christian Dean, said, why don't we do this cool thing? And he called Professor O, Juno in the back. June, would you wave? June, Professor O is the chair of music and performing arts, a co-sponsor for tonight. And June also has fantastic dance events. We are a cultural center. June, when is your dance program going to be performing again? Um, middle, of middle of April. Wonderful. So, what's that? Okay, cool. So I don't know if you're aware that Dominican University is in partnership with Lions Ballet, which is a professional dance program. There are two professional dance organizations in the United States that are associated with universities. Alvin Ailey is one. Lions Ballet is the other one, and it's with Dominican University. We have phenomenal dancers that are studying to earn their baccalaureate and are professional dancers. You must come. We welcome you. So let me just say that uh, tonight's program is a partnership with the Institute for Leadership Studies, the uh, Department of Music and Performing Arts, the Department of Student Development and Affairs, and our tremendous friend and partner, Christian Dean, professor of political science and owner of the Magic Flute, and invited us to partner with him tonight. And he's wearing his Magic Flute t-shirt. He's going to tell you all about, you can actually get lessons at the Magic Flute too, can't you, Christian? Yes. So the, the event tonight is a film showing the man behind the white guitar. And it's followed by a fabulous performance by Jose Neto. And please, please give a Jose a round of applause as well. And I'm proud to say that the film's producer, Barbara McVeigh, is an alumna of Dominican University of California, and she's going to announce our program. So please come on forward, Barbara. Okay. Let's give her a round of applause. What a beautiful crowd tonight. I love it. Um, well, thank you so much for coming, and we're so excited to be here. Um, I had to write a few things down to make sure I get everything right. Um, first off, on my eyes here. A big thank you to tonight's organizers and sponsors, the Magic Flute Institute for Leadership Studies, Department of Music, Dance, Performing Arts, Office of Student Engagement. I also want to say thank you to the folks who were in the lobby ushering everybody in. I'm going to say their names, Autumn Jordan, Jake Blazona, Jessica Diaz, thank you for organizing, Jessica, Carla Aldana, Solina Ornelas, Stephen Mueller, Isaiah Carter, and Jacob Potete. It's so beautiful to see young people getting involved, but I don't want to make sure they're involved, too. Um, it's really an honor for us to be here. Um, beautiful school. Um, I get to say it, I guess. Um, happy birthday, Harry Belafonte, 96 years. Isn't that amazing and beautiful? And we're so happy to be here to honor such an amazing person. Um, so Harry Belafonte has said, in the face of opposition, control, or domination, put a smile on your face and get dancing. Does that sound right, Jose? Yeah, okay. He has and continues to hold the kind of spirit of bringing people together with joy. And as Belafonte has said in our interview, artists help people be better than what they think they can be. The idea behind this project was really simple, aside from telling the story of Jose Neto's amazing musical life. Is it possible to create magic? Is it possible to make a project with little to no film experience based on the idea of bringing together an artistic collaboration with those who believe in the values of humility and generosity and collaboration and kindness in this crazy world of ours today? And this film proves that it's achievable. This became an international team of people giving and um, with very little money. 
And it took, honestly, people like um, Dr. Christian Dean, I'm going to put you on the spot, for believing in this because he was actually the first one to offer his space for the very first fundraiser for this project. So thank you. We had little to prove at that point except just pure intention. But when we set the intention, the right people came and helped. And uh, it really magic grew from this for the seven years that we worked on it. Um, again, very little money. It was, um, we were very rich with spirit, and I think we can argue that spirit holds greater value and more power than money. And I'm going to stand behind that. Um, especially when you consider this film captures some of our greatest musical legacies today. And um, it's been internationally recognized with awards. So, oh, and then even Dominican UC hosted us, so hey, um, how good does it get? Um, from the beginning of this project, I've had the belief that um, a blast from Jose Neto's guitar could really wake us up into a new time um, and into full throttle action for peace and joy and unity, and I'm going to stand behind that because I think that time will come. Um, and let's put a smile on our face and start dancing. A few more thank yous uh, to Margot Van Riper, Omid Zamsapur, uh, Margot Crescenti, Pablo and Paige Almeida, thank you so much, um, Gina Musser, who did the beautiful statue back there, and then also my son Kai, who's one of my two backbones mm -hmm. and has been part of this journey. And um, just thank you all for coming tonight. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
of our uh, visiting musicians here, or, or even of the filmmaker herself, Barbara. So, Where can uh, we find her music? Well, let me, uh, we can walk. Where can we find her music? Where can we find your music? So, uh, that's a good question. Uh, you know, the industry has changed so much, you know, before, uh, back in the day, uh, we go to record stores, we go to, you know, CD shops. But uh, these days, I think on Spotify, 
and, and pretty much out the download, unfortunately, uh, uh, platforms. So uh, that is, you know, Spotify is probably the most popular, but uh, that is others, uh, you know. So that's, that's the best way to go at this point. <laughs> Anybody else? Here, let me get a... well, what about 19th and Broadway? Yeah. Can oh, we back go to, there? Back to 19th? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I thought about that. What happened was they changed management. Right now is Max, uh, which is what's supposed to be very nice. Uh, but I haven't got close to the booking. I don't, I don't know exactly how, how they're working right now. But uh, it's always a great, it's like going back home, you know, going to, to 19 Broadway. So we'll be there at some point. I was wondering if the film is going to be distrib distributed anywhere. All right. Let's, uh, I think that's a question for Barbara about... Uh, or, Jose, you want to answer that? Sure. Uh, well, you know, the, the, the film, uh, I mean, I, I have to thank Barbara and everyone. Uh, it was, as you saw, it was an amazing effort of, of uh, a true effort of, of commitment. And, and uh, <clears throat> for me, it was very special because... Uh, from the beginning, Barbara gave me, you know, the full, uh, open uh, authority, in a good way, to make things as real and as natural as possible. Because you know, when you when you are, I mean, working with you know Harry Belafonte, Steve Winwood, a year to Florida, those are. Uh, uh, a mega names. I mean, these people, they done so much that, that, you know, is, you have to be very respectful approaching them uh, for what you, uh, what you want from them, you know. So Barbara really gave me that, <clears throat> uh, that, uh, that word of saying, now is the time. To, and I would, you know, when I felt was the time, that's when we went to see them, to interview them, to, so they wouldn't feel that I was trying to come up with a, you know, because really they are the masters. Those, I mean, Harry Belafonte, I mean, he, he just, uh, you know, just about changed the world, you know, is, is, is really something so big, so human, so grand that, uh, uh, you know, when I first started working for him, I was 24 and he was like 52. So now I'm 68 and he's 96. <laughs> so, so it was really a... Uh, uh, a, a time for me to be with his children, young children still, and, and he he completely took our family in uh, as part of of his life, you know. So today is a very special day, uh, celebrating his birthday and uh, uh, being so thankful to him in, in in every every way possible. And his family, it was a beautiful family. But uh, going back to the question, you wanted to know where you can find the movie. And that's on Amazon.com. And, uh, and you can only pay $3.99. <laughs> it's like a super deal. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we did uh, have the, the movie with subtitles in, in, 
what do we have? We have Japanese, we have Spanish, we have Italian, we have Portuguese. And, and this movie uh, really traveled the world already. Barbara was in, in India, and, and she, we, had, we received an award. Uh, this, yeah. So, I couldn't believe you went there, Barbara. That was it. <laughs> that was tops. That, <laughs> that was brave. But, uh, you know, it's been in Brazil, it's been in, in, in Dubai, and just got another uh, award, and, and it's been in London, it's been... So it's been really uh, traveling, and, and it's still going, but, you know, and, and as, as uh, my, my wife, Margot, said tonight, that tonight was really special to see the movie. And, and I, for some, there was something tonight that that uh, I think it reached, it reached uh, our soul. So I thank you for coming and, and creating this this uh, this vibe for for the movie. You know. <laughs> well, I think uh, speaking to everybody, just saying thank you so much for all the music that you share. Uh, it's really wonderful uh, to have you here in our county. Thank you. Uh, thank and you. we'll look for you uh, as you play out. Thank you so and much. And thank you. Can I ask a quick question? They showed the, the luthier who made your guitar. Could right. you could you uh, talk about the guitar a little bit? Like what, what it's made of? And, yeah, and, and yeah. Obviously a well, unique de design. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good question. Uh, he, he is a Swiss man. And he 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 loved uh, a classical instrument, a nylon string classical uh, sounding. And he came up with this uh, this guitar, which is an electric guitar. And he reversed the, the tuning, so the tuning is back here. And. Uh, and and he created pretty much all the parts for the guitar himself. So everything was really crafted. And, and that was uh, the great thing about it, but it was also difficult for him to market because, you know, every piece, it was so expensive to make. So, but uh, he totally succeeded because it's an, it's an instrument that you can, you know, play hard, you can play soft, you can, and it's true to what you're playing, you know, it's, you don't, you know, when you're playing something in the middle, you don't feel like, uh-oh, it's, no, it's, it's giving you what you're asking for. So he, he really did it, Ralph, and I had a, had a chance to visit his uh, workshop in Switzerland once. Uh, it took me two or three hours to find him in the woods, but I did it, and I took about three, four buses, but I found him, and, and, and so I had that connection with him uh, before he, you know, he went on, but, uh, and then it became my instrument, uh, you know, as you saw it, and so, and, uh, that's the, the paradise. That's uh, this is what it is. Thank you. First year of the name. Uh, the guitar. Yeah. The guitar is called Paradise. Paradise. Yes. I, I would just observe most really great guitars have about ten or fifteen guitars arrayed behind them. This seems to be the only guitar you play. Oh, in the movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. That's right. You know, uh, and and usually those guys have somebody bringing them a guitar every song, which is not my case. <laughs> well, I tell you what, uh, I have traveled with with a lot of uh, you know great bands. Uh, opening with Steve Winwood, we did two tours for Tom Patty. We did uh, four tours for Steely Dan. We did Santana. We did Rod Stewart. 
we did uh, Armand Brothers uh, and, and a few others. Uh, you know, we did uh, Madison Square Garden three, four times. But these guys have closet of guitars. <laughs> I couldn't believe, you know, it was like going into a whole universe of guitars. <laughs> I mean, 40, 45 guitars like this amazing closet. They would just stay open. And I would just stand in there and then they come and they keep looking and they pick one. <laughs> And then when they finish the song, somebody comes in and gives them another one. <laughs> it's like, man, this is, this is the life. <laughs> but here I am with the only one. Well, I wouldn't go that far with burning my, my guitar. But uh, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy was something because the, the difference of, of Jimmy is that, for me, is it, a guy that you can't imitate. You cannot do what he does. But he gives you the inspiration to do what you want to do. And that's what Jimi Hendrix for me. Uh, he, listening to him rhythmically, uh, his freedom, uh, how his dynamics, that he changes from here to there. And I took that as an inspiration to play like, not like him, but play like that. So. At, at one moment you go here, another moment you go there, and you, you always leave your, your, your musical intention free to go. So uh, it, is a, it is a practice, and, and I think he was a master. So, yeah. Well, I mean, I could be talking here for another hour, but, but I think okay. we got to go home, right? Well, I, I, I think uh, you're going to hang out at least to maybe uh, to meet some people, yes. um, and perhaps that'll happen at the back of the room. There's some posters back there. Uh, we do have one more birthday, at least one more birthday. In the oh, room. that's... Somebody's uh, celebrating some anniversary of her 29th birthday. We're not sure which anniversary it is. Uh, but uh, Denise Lucy uh, is somebody that uh, really made this event possible. So we would like to sing happy birthday to Denise. Birthday, Denise. All right, thank you all for coming. I hope you had a really great time, as uh, I'm sure you did. And uh, support local music. If you see somebody playing live music out, especially if it is original live music, go see it and tip well. Yes. Have a good night. <laughs>